Hello, I'm going to show you how to export your contacts from your iPhone um, into a CSV file that you'll be able to use to import into your CRM. Now, Apple has not made it easy for you to get your contacts out of your phone. And there are some third party uh, apps out there that you could buy um, or even use for free for the first 10 or 100 contacts. But um, after doing some research, I recommend using this format, these steps, where it will actually um, take your contacts and put them into a Windows file where you can export them from there into an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so first you're going to open up your contacts. So in your phone app, um, you will select the contacts at the bottom. And then you're gonna click on lists. So there's that arrow and the blue word list, click on that. Next, you're gonna choose the list that you want to export. In this case, I'm choosing all contacts. So you're gonna hold down where it says all contacts, you're gonna hold it down with your finger until the export option pops up. And then you're gonna click on the export image. Next, you're gonna choose the contact information that you want in your spreadsheet. So for instance, if email is unchecked, then you should check it. Uncheck anything that you wouldn't need. Then, email the file. So once you've checked the fields that you want to export, a file will pop up and you'll be able to choose how you want it sent to you. I would recommend choosing mail and email it to yourself. So here you're emailing it to yourself. See how it has created a BCF file and as an attachment. Okay, so next what you're going to do is we're gonna import um, the file into this Windows file. So um, you will copy and paste this percentage system drive, percentage users, username contacts, and uh, we will have that link for you in the uh, details and notes section. But what you're going to do, you can see down at the bottom left, um, in the File Explorer field, you're going to paste that, um, that address where you want the file to go and open into the File Explorer and press Enter. And then you're going to click on that folder to open it. That's gonna open up an empty folder. I guess there could be some contacts in there if you've done this before. Um, and what you're gonna do is choose import. When you choose the import, it's gonna have a pop-up that shows you um, choices. And in this case, we're gonna choose the VCF file, the vCard. So we're gonna import the vCard that we had um, email to ourselves. So in your email, you um, will go and save that file um, somewhere on your desktop or somewhere that you can access it. So once you have um, saved it, then you'll go in and choose it um, open your email and select the file to import. Now you're going to browse and select the VCF file you exported from the webmail in the previous selection and you'll see multiple pop-ups for each contact. So once you've imported it, it's gonna look like this card and you're gonna keep clicking okay for each contact to be added. And now that does seem like a tedious task, but in the end, this is the easiest way to get your contacts exported and into an Excel spreadsheet. So 
Do that for each one of your contacts. So as you can see, when you click on the card for the contact, you will end up seeing it in this um, file folder, in this Windows file folder, and, and you'll see it there. Okay, now you're not going to be able to see the individual cards as I click on them, but I want you to be able to see what happens to that file um, when I do. So I'm going to go through each one of these and um, click on them, and you can see that they end up popping up into this file. Okay, so now once you have all of your contacts in the file, then you are going to um, click to where you can select them all. And so you are going to um, select them all and then choose the, and, and you'll know that they're all selected because they'll become highlighted. Um, so you'll click on the first one and then hold down the um, shift and then click on the last one. And then once those are all selected, you can choose export. And this will um, open up a window that shows two options and you're gonna choose the CSV option and click export. Here, it's gonna have another pop-up and this is where do you want it saved? So do you want it saved on your desktop? Um, and you can pick the location and then hit next. Here you're gonna choose the fields that you want to export. Um, in my case, the first name and last name were unchecked as well as the mobile phone number. So I did check those because it'll make it easier to have those separated out. Um, and then when you have those, fields checked or unchecked, then choose finish. And then you're gonna get a pop-up that says that your contacts have been saved to the location that you chose. And now you can open your contacts in an Excel CSV file. So go to the location where you saved it and then you'll be able to open it up. So I hope this helps. Let us know if you do have any questions and we are happy to help.